Have you ever gone into someone's stream and they've got the exact same webcam as you, but for some reason, their webcam just looks a million times better than yours and you don't know why? Well, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you some simple tips and tricks on how you can transform your webcam into something looking a lot more professional very easily. Welcome to the video. Guys, welcome to the video. My name is Oswood. I do stream five days a week on Twitch. Everything is linked below the video right now. And today I'm going to be helping you make your webcam look a lot more professional and stand out compared to other streams who have the same webcam. Now, webcams are limited in what they can potentially do. So it's important that you understand this and you know that you have the right settings in place and know a few different little simple things that you can help to raise the quality. So strap yourselves in. Let's get started. Now, so when you add your webcam to the scene, it's going to look something a little bit different to mine, but we are going to show you some simple tips and tricks that you can really implement very, very easily to really make your webcam stand out. So when you add your webcam to the scene, it'll look a little bit different to mine, but I'm going to show you some simple tips and tricks that you can add to your webcam to make it look a lot more professional very, very easily. First off, we're going to show you how to add a webcam to your Streamlabs OBS or OBS, whichever program you use. First off, what you're going to need to do is go onto your program, click on Add source, go down to video capture, select which webcam you will have. Mine select, mine's named as webcam and click add source. Now, as you see, when you first add your webcam, it'll be this very strange sort of square shape and it looks awful. It doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very professional. So we're going to change a few settings right now and get you well on the way to making your webcam look a lot better. Now, what you're going to need to do this is make sure you right click on your webcam, click on properties, and then make sure you, where it says resolution type, change from device default to custom. This then will change your webcam into a 1080p resolution. If your webcam doesn't support 1080p, 720 will be absolutely fine. But ideally, from a quality point of view, 1080p will provide a much, much better quality image. So secondly, all you need to do is make sure you change the FPS to the highest FPS that your webcam can output. Summer 30, majority of more modern webcams can output 60 fps so make sure you are actually outputting the highest you can be at 60 fps make sure that the video format is mjpeg or the mjpeg format from my experience and from what looking at online this mode gives you the best quality image make sure you get the color space set to 709 get the color range to full and then turn off buffering now we're not going to stop there there's a few more settings that you can change inside your webcam that can really make your image a lot better what you're going to need to do is click on configure video. This then will show this little window right here. Now it may look different than what you see right now, but it's the, the principle of them is very, very similar. One of the first things you need to do, and I see it on so many people's webcams is turn off autofocus, please, 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 please turn off your autofocus because it just looks really really bad and every time that you move your webcam will just want to be trying to refocus on you and it just becomes blurry webcams are not that great at image quality and lighting so turn off your autofocus is the biggest tip that i can give you right now so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the exposure now as you as you'll be able to see when you change the exposure The higher the exposure, the more laggy the image, okay? Now, what you want to try and do, you want to try and find a happy medium of having a, a high enough exposure, okay, without it making the, the, the image laggy. So I've set mine to about, about minus five, okay? And it's it's smooth, it's on point with what I'm when I'm moving, and it'll just give you the, be the better image. Then what you need to do is go on gain. Now, you see a lot of people sometimes, depending on their lighting situation, they can have a really high gain. So it's kind of like their image is blown out by light. The trick with gain is you want to have as low gain as possible without you looking too dark. So if I show you an example right now, as we scroll down with the gain, you see that I go quite dark and the image is not as good quality. So what you want to do, you want to try and just say this is all down to your own personal preference because everyone's lighting different. Everyone's life lighting situation will be different. So just drag it up until you are around, not as in blown out as you see like this, like washed out just try and find a bit of a happy medium there that, that looks good to me then what you want to do you can mess with the brightness the contrast you can add a little bit more contrast this contrast basically makes the the colors pop a little bit more now to be able to basically make it a little bit easier to understand just drag it and you can see how much things change but i normally go like a little bit a little bit off center just so it adds a little bit more to it the saturation again you can add a little bit more saturation to it just so it makes the maybe the, the vibrant colors pop a little bit more in the background and then white balance 
you see sometimes a lot of people use white balance and it, they get a very like over over hot or really cold image now again this is this will involve you just messing around with your own settings and tweaking to your own personal preference because the setting that i like may may not be one that you particularly like so around the sort of settings they will they will look ideal click apply click ok so if your webcam doesn't allow you to change the exposure or the gain within the actual webcam software, you can actually do this within OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Both, both ways will work. And I'm now going to show you the way you can do it within Streamlabs OBS. Again, it's a similar sort of process that we've just done within the webcam software itself. So what I normally try and do is I start with a little bit of contrast, as I've said, just to make the, the image just pop just, just a little bit. Not a lot, but just, just enough. Now, again, you can add a little bit of saturation and then add a little bit of gamma. See, this is all minor, minor tweaks, okay? But this will what will make your webcam stand out a lot more. Once you're happy with those settings, click done, and you'll be good to go. So now you have a better looking webcam, but I'm gonna tell you something that will make your webcam look even better. Lighting. The trick to making your webcam look good is lighting. It's not the actual webcam or keep tweaking these settings. It is lighting. So I'm going to show you how you can change your webcam from something looking a bit like this to something a little bit like this. Now, with my webcam, I'm quite lit up. So I use two Elgato key lights either side of me to basically light me up, i.e. the source. Now, you do not have to buy expensive lighting to make your webcam look better. You can literally buy a $10 or £10 light to have it in front of you. I used to use an old Pixar lamp, example right here to have a light basically just pointed at my face just so it lit me up. Now, having little simple lighting like this and having a bit of a background lighting can really make the overall image and the quality of your webcam look a lot better. So you do not have to go out there and spend hundreds of pounds or hundreds of dollars on LEDs and all these fancy key lights, stuff like that. Lighting can literally cost you dollars. You could even have a spare lamp around your house that you may not necessarily be using right now Plug it, plug it in next to your webcam or next to your PC with a lamp looking at you, job done. It will make a huge, huge, huge impact. Now, if for example, the way you sit and you have windows behind you and the window light is just basically washing your image out, maybe looking at getting a blackout blind. The window above me, I have just basically used blackout card, stuck it over the window. So no matter what time of day I stream, the lighting will always look the same and my image will not be washed out by sunlight. So as I say, the card cost me, I think, about two pounds for like four bits and it did the window. So you do not have to go out there and spend loads of money on lighting. And sometimes people's perception of lighting is that, oh, it's really expensive. I can't afford to do that. You do not have to go out there and spend a lot of money. You can have a spare lamp around your house, grab it, plug it next to your webcam, plug it in, get a bulb next to you, look at it getting some blackout blinds or blackout card next to your window if the window is behind you or next to you, and it'll make a huge impact, I promise you. But I hope the settings in this video have helped with the webcam. If you do have any questions, make sure you jump into my Twitch channel. I say I do stream five days a week. Or if you've got any ideas or examples of lighting you've, you've had before and you want to share pictures, make sure you post them in the Discord that we have linked below the video. We have so many amazing people in the community who are always wanting to learn and grow and just learn new skills. So thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to click the like button and click the big red button right here. We are on the push to 1,000 subscribers now and it means the absolute world. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day. And until next time, stay awesome.